Hello High Tracking Community, my name is Michael and in this video we will talk about how to export data from Blickshift Analytics. In the previous video we have talked about how to import data into Blickshift Analytics and on many other videos in this channel you can see how to analyze it. So it's clear that at one point we also have to think about how to export data. In this video, I will show you five examples of how to export data from Blickshift Analytics. The first example shows the export of case statistics, the second of resampled and synchronized data, the third one of labeled data, the fourth one of AUI annotated data, and the fifth one how to do and screenshot to use it, for example, in a PowerPoint presentation. So let's start with the first example. On the screen we can see a classical eye tracking experiment. We defined two areas of interest covering task relevant areas and we calculated case statistics. And now we want to export this case statistics data. And that's very simple. I go here to the workflow explorer to the case statistics node. I click here and I choose from the output menu export to files. Here I give, uh, I enter a name, so statistics and here I can choose which metrics I want to export. So I decide to export all of them and then I say OK. So five data tables, these are the ones which we can see here in the background, have been exported successfully. I go to the file system and here we can see now the five participants. So the software created one text or CSV file for each participant. And then we can have a look into this data. So I use here on an editor and I track and drop it here. And here I can see now the calculated results from this um, case statistics node. And this data now can be processed further in a statistical analysis software. In the second example, we imported both eye tracking data, you can see it on the top, and data from a biometric sensor here, galvanic skin response, uh, which is shown here on the bottom. We synchronized um, these two data streams and now I want to export this synchronized data stream for a further processing. The workflow is similar to the example I've shown you before. I go to the merge resample node, I make a right click and then I choose output export to files. And here I can select now also all the data which I want to export. I have to enter uh, a file name, so I say merge txt and then I say OK. So now three data tables have been exported. The reason is we have here three participants. I press OK. I go now to the file system and here we have now the three exported data files and I choose my editor and then I drag and drop it to there. And here we can see now a very, very long um, CSV file containing all the data which has been synchronized by Blickshift Analytics beforehand. Sometimes you want to label data and that's something which you can do with Blickshift Analytics. So please have a look at this video. And then you want to export this data for, for example, the training of machine learning algorithms. In this example, we annotated a data set. So here um, the participant is walking around in our meeting room and is performing some tasks. And here in the labeling column, I defined several labels um, describing what this participant is doing. And now I want to export these labels together with the eye tracking data. I go to labeling, make a right click, say output, export to files, and then I enter a file name again, so the labels.txt. We are exporting all the eye tracking data and the labels. I say OK. And then I go to the file system again. I choose my editor 
And then I have here the labels file, which I've exported before. I drag and drop it here. And then we have the eye tracking data here on the left side. And when we scroll here to the right, we can see the labels. So it's in the last column. So on the right side, we have here change positions, for example, the label. And when I go down, reading task, for example. And this CSV file you can use now for, for example, training your machine learning algorithms. In the fourth example, we covered here the head mounted perspective with dynamic AOIs. So the participant has crafted some um, paper planes and um, we defined here several areas of interest covering some visual um, areas from the perspective of the participant. And now I want to export this labeled data. So eye tracking data with the information which area of interest has been focused on. I go to the dynamic AI editor, say output, say export to files and say here AOIs txt. Again, the eye tracking data together with the area of interest information. I click on OK. It was a longer experiment. And then I go to my editor again. I go to the file system. I have AOIs here. I open it. And then we have the eye tracking data again on the left side. And yes, you're right. On the right side, we can see the labels of the areas of interest. So none of the areas of interest has been focused on. And then after a while, let's see, um, I go to the left here, paper, for example. So on this data line, the participant focused on the paper and so forth. And you can use this information now for training your machine learning algorithms again or for doing a deeper statistical analysis of the eye tracking data with your own Python scripts, R scripts or with the software which you have developed. The last thing which I want to show you today is how to export a visualization. I go to the menu, I say export image and here I enter the resolution um, in which I want to export my visualization. And then I have here two options. Um, one is I export this visualization into a file or I can say copy to clipboard and then I can use it, for example, directly in my PowerPoint presentation. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to our channel, activate the bell so that you never miss a new video and share this tutorial with your community. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next video.